Hey fam, this is Hector Mirai, and you're listening to Faith in Vandom 180 on LTN Radio. So I'm still playing Pokemon Sleep pretty consistently. I actually really enjoy it. I find it cathartic. And one of the things that does make it less cathartic for me is when I make the mistake of delaying doing what I need to do. One of the main points of the game outside of, you know, tracking your sleep is that you're supposed to have your team of Pokemon gather berries and ingredients so that you can feed Snorlax a meal on time and feed your Pokemon as well. And you're supposed to do it three times a day. You're supposed to feed him breakfast before noon, lunch before six, and dinner before you go to bed. And I'll oftentimes catch myself saying, oh, you know what? It's 1045. I'll wait until like 1150 to feed him breakfast. And then sure enough, I look down at my watch and it's like a 130 or I'll do the same with dinner and I'll miss it by like 30 or 40 minutes because I have enough wherewithal to realize I should be doing something, but not enough discipline to do it when I think about it. And it reminds me of some passages in scripture in Daniel 6 verse 10. It says, now when Daniel learned that he, the decree had been published, he went home to his upstairs room with the windows open toward Jerusalem. Three times a day, he got down on his knees and prayed, giving thanks to God, just as he had done before. And similar in Psalm 55, 17, it says, evening, morning, and noon, I cry out in distress, and he hears my voice. The psalmist and Daniel, even in the midst of their circumstances, took the time to discipline themselves to make communicating with God a priority. And it's not just enough to say, hey, you know what? I should pray. It also requires you to actually do it. (laughs) And yeah, I know I'm supposed to feed my Pokemon at certain times, but if I don't actually make a plan of when I'm doing it and I don't actually do it when I think about it I can't expect to execute it and if we don't make prayer an intentional part of our day and we don't actually set time aside to do it we're going to find ourselves missing the opportunity and carrying the frustration that comes from missing that chance to communicate with God and be blessed by that communication If you'd like to learn more about Faith and Fandom, head on over to faithandfandom.org where you can learn about our Comic-Con ministry, podcast, memes, apparel, and book series. You can even read new chapters before they make it to the next book. I'm Hector Mirai, and thank you for spending the last 180 seconds with me.